Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and I hope this video gives you lots of money-making Forex trading ideas. Hi everybody, Alex Deployer from Expert Forex and this is a follow-on video of a previous video where we investigated zero risk and zero margin Forex trading. Now here's the previous video. I sincerely urge you to go and watch this video if you haven't done so before so that you can understand a lot more of what's going to be happening in this particular video. And then just a, a brief introduction to EAs on the whole. I have made a, another video which is an introduction to EAs for beginners but in that video I actually cover the uses of EAs or Forex robots and a lot of people view Forex robots as purely trading robots, but they're not that. They are also Forex tools, like for instance the double in a day EA is a Forex tool and the grid trend multiplier is a Forex tool and uh, they, they, they can also be used to test concepts and what you're going to be seeing today are robots that are, have been written specifically to test certain concepts. So just bear in mind, not all EAs are trading robots. Right, to, to come back to the fully hedged forex trading technique, here are the rules that we went through in the previous video. So what you would do is you choose a transaction distance. Uh, you would start with a one sell transaction and one buy transaction. And when you do that, you're all automatically hedged. So your um, risk is zero and your margin is also hedged in, in that the broker will not charge you margin because you have a buy transaction and a sell transaction. So you have zero margin, zero risk. So you let the price travel for the transaction distance. You cash in the positive leg of the particular uh, of the previous transaction, and then you enter another buy and another sell. Then you go into a phase of lot balancing. So you lot size the new trade so that one trade direction has the same lot sizes as the other trade direction. So you make sure there's as, as, as many buy lots as there are sell lots. And you do this by just adding lots to uh, adding a transaction with, with lots that will balance the buy and sells. This again will create a perfect hedge for you because you will then have zero risk no matter which way the price moves you are hedged so you have zero risk and you also have zero margin because your buy lots and your sell lots equal each other and therefore the broker will not charge you margin. And then you just repeat steps three to six until you have made enough money and you want to start again. Okay, so here we are in MT4. I have the Forex tester open and we're going to be testing the full hedged EA. I'm going to use the franc. It doesn't matter which currency I'm using. Uh, I'm going to use every tick because it's the most precise method to uh, test. And I'm going to be just testing from the beginning of January till about yesterday or the day before. I'm going to use the five minute chart because it shows the actual activities that the EA does and I'm going to use a, just a basic spread for the franc. Now the EA settings themselves are very basic. Uh, you, all you have to do is a transaction uh, uh, size or a gap size. Uh, you've got to decide that and I'm, going to do, I'm actually going to change that to 20 just so that we can see what's going on a little bit better. And initial uh, trade size, I'm going to use the minimum for this particular broker, which is 0.01. So that those are the only two settings that there are for this particular EA because it has been programmed to follow the rules that I mentioned in the previous slide. So we say OK, and then we start running it in visual mode. Now visual mode will allow us to actually see the trade, trading as it happens. So away I go and it is just going to update the history for this particular currency and then start trading. And there we are. So you can see it's opened a buy and a sell. They're not at the same place because obviously uh, the buy has the spread in it. The sell doesn't have the spread in it, but, but they are theoretically at the same place, place in terms of the sell levels and as the rules say you start with a buy and a sell at the same time. So 
in the information block of this EA, you can see a lot of information but the most important is we're starting with a balance of five thousand uh, dollars you can see the margin is zero because we have one open lot and we uh, as a buy and one open lot as a sell so the margin is currently zero so i'm going to accelerate this a little bit still going very slow so i'm going to put it on full full blast and you can see this setting has only full blast and very slow so it's not a very good setting here but let's organize this so we can see what's going on okay so what's happened here we've had a buy and a sell open there uh, the price went down we cashed in the sell transaction and we opened another buy and sell transaction over here the ea then also balanced the open lots and the closed lots so you can see here that we've got 0.02 lots of buys and we've got 0.02 lots of sell so those are balanced the margin again is zero so we have no margin exposure and we also have no risk because our buys and our sells are perfectly balanced so let's accelerate the trading a little bit and see what happens next all right, so there's quite a bit of trading that's going on. Okay, so let's stop the trading and look at what's happened uh, in those 20 odd transactions that have gone past. So again, if you look at the current status, there's a zero margin because we have 0.14 lots of buys open and we have 0.14 lots of sell orders open. So that is in a complete hedge and that is why there's no margin and that's why we actually have no risk at that point. Our cash ins, as, as the transactions go, they cash in and they have pushed the account balance up by $75. So our account balance has actually gone up $75 as a result of those cash-ins. However, the equity balance, which is the account balance less open trades, is at a level of 4,984. That means we've actually made $15 loss so far in this trading. Now what that $15 is, is actually the spread that we've paid on every single uh, tran uh, transaction uh, that we've entered uh, added up so that is why we are actually running at a loss we wouldn't if this was a zero spread environment we would be running at a break even so we have been running at, at a loss and i think i'm not going to push this any further i think we have gained the information that we want out of this little bit of trading that we've seen so far and let's at, let's look at the lessons that we can learn from tra trading the full hedged EA. Okay, lesson one is balancing the buys and the sells reduce margin to zero in fact. So you can get zero margin requirement from your broker if you have equal number of buy lots an equal number of sell lot. The next most important lesson of them all is hedging makes the broker rich. You cannot become rich from hedging. So the hedging has made the broker rich. We can see just in a couple of transactions that we have already lost a $15 in terms of broker spreads. Although our transactions are theoretically breaking even. So this hedging making the broker rich principle does not only apply to this EA, it applies to all hedging. If you think it is better to, if you have a losing transaction and you think, let's say you have a losing sell and you think, oh, let me put a buy in to hedge the losses, you are wasting your time. You are making the broker rich. You might as well close the deal. So hedging has very little benefit in forex trading and and this little exercise proves to you exactly that
because we had perfect hedging with every transaction and we lost money. And you will too if you try to hedge in any way. Also, strategies have to be properly, uh, properly tested. When I did the first video, there was amazing amount of conjecture and theories about how the system would work and how it wouldn't work in sideways markets and how it wouldn't work if it starts trending and how this would work and all that and quite honestly the only way to do it is to do what we've just done you write an EA and you test it properly and you see the transactions happening so transactions have to be, ha be happening have be tested properly using EAs or back testing and strategy should not be tested in your head or using logic very bad principle to use right next thing that we learned no risk no profit now the reason why we didn't make profit is we took no risk there was no risk at any point in that trading to us the the price could have started trending hundreds of pips we would have been hedged all the way up or all the way down and we ha we would have had no risk so no risk no profit and that just applies in general another point which is not very clear out of this is that when you try to over manage your risk your returns will always suffer for instance you know you have a you have a EA it has a 60% success rate and you think oh well if I put this filter in and I put that filter in and I reduce this thing and that and you start playing around with that profitable EA by over managing it you will kill the EA because firstly you will kill the profitable transactions and secondly uh, because you're over managing risk your returns will drop s significantly and we have seen this and this is not a theory we have tested this over and over again so please resist the urge to try and over manage your returns whenever we issue a new EA immediately without anybody even trading the ESA oh but wouldn't it be good to have a, a an indicator that identifies trends that are going to happen and then stops trading when it's trending and then starts uh, starts uh, trading when it goes sideways you know the, if people try to over manage these EAs they kill them there is no perfect filter that you can use to do those kind of activities you know it's a, it's a, it, be careful of the urge to over manage your risk okay so now we've we sit here and we say oh the full hedged ea doesn't work so what do we have to do to make it work that's what you've got that's what we've got to think uh, th th that's the next step so the, the clue lies here in the no risk no profit so in other words we got to start taking risks we, we can't we can't take no risk and expect profits we've got to start taking risks so let's have a look at some of the strategies we can follow to make this concept profitable one of the things that we can do is we can remove the lot balancing feature so in other words when the transaction is moved to uh, by the transaction length and it's cashed in the positive deal don't balance don't balance the what's left uh, uh, if there are five buys and two sells that's fine let it go out of balance because the minute you balance it you you, you have no risk and therefore you cannot can't, can't make profit the minute it's out of balance you can start making profit here's the out of balance approach so what we do is we just simply remove the balancing feature so so I'm going to be showing you an EA running without the balancing feature pretty soon then the other thing that you could do is you can remove the lot balancing feature and you can make the trading one directional. So if you have a good idea that the price is going to go up on, on the hero, for instance, in the next week because of some politician speech, then you know the direction of the trade. You don't need to have a buy and a sell in all the time. You can just trade in that direction. So the next EA that we're going to look at is where the lot balancing feature is removed and we only trading in one direction 
So let's move to the, the first concept. And this first concept we are, I would call the partially hedged rule because uh, it results in partially hedged transaction. So in this particular one, you would choose the transaction. Let's say 10 pips, you'd start with a buy and sell. So you start with a buy and sell. Uh, you let the price run. Uh, you ca uh, the, the transaction distance. You then cash in the positive trade. So everything is still the same up to this point. Here's where the different comes in. You then enter a trade that will ensure that there will be a profit no matter which way the price goes. So in other words, you must make sure that there is a buy transaction and a sell transaction at that point. But at the same time, you do not duplicate other open transactions that are at that point. So if you already have a buy transaction open at the point where you've reached, you don't open another buy because there is already a buy that will ensure a profit if the price moves. So you don't need to duplicate transactions at that particular point. So you would only make sure you would make sure that you only have a buy and a sell at that particular point. So those are the two rules you say. Um, you make sure that you can profit from any movement in the market and make sure that you're not duplicating transactions point uh, transaction point in this system. And then you, do, you just repeat the transactions until you have made enough money and then you start all over again. So let's have a look at this concept being traded by an EA that applies these particular rules. Okay, so I've loaded the partial hedged EA. I'm going to use the Euro Yen because that displays quite well for this particular technique. Uh, we're going to use the every tech uh, method because it is the most precise and we're going to be using the same dates as uh, before and we're going to be using the visual mode. I'm going to use a five minute chart because it again displays the transactions quite well and a, a, a two, two pip spread for this currency. The, the input is basically the same. We have a transaction distance of 10, 10 uh, pips. Uh, but what I can do now is I can actually increase the lot sizing to be more in line with this particular technique. Now I've done some testing and I know that 0.2 is a good uh, lot sizing for this particular test. So all you have to do is put this lot size and your, the transaction is and that's all of the and the transact and the EA will go away and do its thing. So let's do exactly that. So all we do now is we start it and again it will go away and get ready for the testing. I'm going to move the visual mode up a little bit. Okay, so let, 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 before I move, do that, it starts with a buy and a sell. There's the buy and the sell. Again, they're not at the same level because of the spread. And uh, let's see what happens as I accelerate the trading. To do that, I'm also going to move this just to that side uh, so that we can view what's going on. So uh, let's move it on to the next transaction level. As I say, this one either shoots very quickly. Oops. All right. There. All right. So it's gone a little bit too fast for us. But what has happened here, and I'm going to just switch it off, slow down completely, is it went down from that level by the transaction le length to this level. At this level, the sell, that sell over there was cashed in. So we made a profit and a buy and a sell was, was created. Why a buy and a sell? A buy and sell ensures that if the price moves up, we'll cash in. And if it moves down, we will cash in. Then what happened then is the price went up back to our original level that we, we started at. And the buy was cashed in at that particular level, leaving this sell open as an open trade. And, and then another cell was entered into because you see that that cell was cashed in. So you need a buy and a sell at the same level. Now, because there was an already an open buy from the very first, from the start, we don't add another buy there. We now have a buy and a sell there and we are ready to go. At this point, we need margin because we have two cells. We've got a sell at that, that, that level and we've got a sell there and we've got a buy at the top. So you can actually see this. There's the count. One buy, two cells. And you can see the lot sizing. The buy is 0.2. The sells is 
four. So this is what I mean by creating an imbalance. Now we have an imbalance between the number of open lots and open, a number of closed lots. Uh, the balance on the account is now 5,000. And in fact, we have made a profit. Now suddenly, equity is, is positive. And uh, and I think that proves the point that uh, this method can uh, w can produce profits if you are prepared to pr expose yourself to risk. So let's just run this a little bit more. I'm just going to accelerate the until about 31. There we go. It's running now. Uh, again, this thing hasn't got a a. This is either very slow or very fast. So I'm going to quickly flip it into very fast mode. And then bring it back, uh, and there, there, the similar thing has happened. The cell was cashed in, or because there's already a cell there, you don't enter another cell. Then it went up. The buy was cashed in because there was already a buy there. Another one wasn't entered into, but it was cashed in. And then uh, the cell was again cashed in there, and and a buy created. So that's how the process just carries on. Now let's have a look at the uh, situation. You still have margin required because there is an imbalance between the buys and the sells you can see that there uh, but look at, at at the balance here we've got five thousand and seventy dollars and here we have uh, five thousand and forty which is that is actually your true profit that you've made so far so we we started to make profit here so uh let's just carry on for a while and we can stop uh, at some site now there's a bit of a trend that's developed and uh, all that type of thing and it, it now is going it is actually trending and doing all kinds of things and it's now it's gone up it's trended upwards and uh, and i just want to stop it right here now you, you can see there's been a, a bit of a trend and when a trend happens it uh, it uh, leaves a lot of open trades and you can see that equity has gone negative in other words we're now in a loss because of that trend and uh, but our balance is still is very high it's it's 5000 almost 5500 uh, there and we and in terms of uh, lots very big imbalance here we've only got uh, one buy and we've got 10 cells so there's a huge imbalance and this is again we are saying you do need that imbalance to make profits with this kind of trading so let's accelerate it again and you can see how negative this this one has got gone it's it's uh, really making a lot of losses here And all we have to do is look at the equity and number and you can see how it is battling to uh, come back to a profitable situation. In the meantime, the account balance is going up and up and up all the time. And uh, remember, we are on the fi five minute chart, so it is exaggerated, all of this trading. But let's just wait and let it trade for a few days. And uh, let's have a look at, all right, so now suddenly, it has become profitable and the equity is now in a profitable mode now what i'm going to do so so this trading is going to take a very long time to conclude but let's what i'm going to do is i'm going to restart the trading without the visual mode now because the visual mode actually slows the trading down but i think you've got the concept that uh because the uh trading is out of balance you need a lot of margin suddenly a lot of margin requirement is there uh, uh, you also um, start exposing yourself to losses and profits and uh, so so that is what's needed in forex trading you when you when you're trading you're always exposing yourself to to the potential losses or potential profits and that's where you make your money you, you don't make your money from hedging and um, protecting your profits. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to stop this exercise. I'm going to turn visual uh, trading off and I'm going to just run it and you'll see it will run a lot faster. Um, 
without visual mode, and we'll look at the final result. So you can see it, it's it's going quite fast. It'll take a, a minute or two, and it'll run the whole. Um, it's about six weeks. While the trading is happening, you'll see that the blue line represents your account balance and the green line represents your equity balance. Now, you can see how the equity balance is always below the blue line in this particular case. and But they are both climbing upwards quite nicely. And sometimes the gaps between the blue line and the green line become big. And sometimes they are quite small. Uh, and over, uh, and there we, ha we have it. There's the closing of the trading for the period that we've uh, we're looking at and let's have a look at what's actually happened so over that period we have made nine thousand dollars of profit using this bu this buy and sell technique um uh, we started with five thousand uh, it is a period of roughly oh, six uh, six six weeks roughly six weeks period we've more almost almost doubled our count twice using this technique uh the as you as you as you can see there have been drawdowns and let's have a look at the drawdowns if you look at the lowest time the, the lowest level here and let's see if we can get a reading no we can't it's about 3800 is 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 the reading so there was a drawdown from the 5000 we started with, it went as low as 3000 800 and then just steadily kept in line with the, the the blue line and then slowly diverged from it a little bit more but in the end nine thousand dollars were were made from this trading and as you can see the uh the currency went through some rough phases of trending and trading sideways at the same time so this type of technique can make you lots of profits and it does expose you to potential losses but in the the longer you trade it the 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 the, the more your blue line goes up and sort of pulls your green line up with it so this was the partially hedged ea now and and let's have a look at the lessons we can learn from that Firstly, we've learned that you can make lots of profit using this technique. The drawdown was only 1,400 200 and we made $9,000 of profit, almost doubling our account once and almost twice. So profit, this is a, a, a method of uh, uh, making profit. Margin is reduced because you always have buys and sell trades open at the same time. But they, a margin can become an issue with this kind of trading. So you should always go with a broker that's got the largest margin. The and this technique, this particular technique, is best traded in a sideways market. Although, the, you, as you saw, that currency trended quite a bit, um, but it is best traded in a sideways market. Or, alternatively, if you're not sure that the market is going to go sideways, you use big transaction sizes. If you use big transaction sizes, you basically can turn any trending market into a sideways market. It's a little trick that you can use, but uh, it is best traded in sideways markets. So, what we've also learned is that you have to take some risk to generate some profit. Now, the, the drawdown that we saw uh, in this in this example was only one thousand two hundred dollars and you generated five thousand dollars profit so you know yeah the sum risk was worth the profit that was get, was generated and that's the trick you must always uh, be able to make profit on your risk that you're taking this version of the hedged ea uh, which was now converted into a partially hedged ea shows you the potential of this particular technique so let's have a look at the next one where not only do we take out the the lot balancing feature but we also trade in one way so let's say we find a, a currency that is going to trend in a certain way and we're pretty confident about it uh, and we can then trade it in one way only so how you would do here's the here's the um formula 
you choose a you choose a transaction distance let's say 10 pips you start with a transaction in the direction that you want to trade you let the price travel uh, uh, the transaction distance now that means up or down so it can go up or down you cash in the positive transaction if there is one sometimes there isn't one and then you open another trade in the direction of trade so if for instance you were buying and the price went down by your transactions and reached your transaction another transaction point you would open another trade in the direction so you would buy uh, you'd open another buy so immediately you creating uh, you you started with an imbalance because you only would buy and you ob obviously uh, if you add more uh, more transactions you increasing the imbalance that there is and you just do this continuously you just repeat steps three to five continuous until you've made enough money and you can start again if you like so let's have a look at this ea in action so i've called this the uh, multiplier ea because that's ex essentially what it does it trades in one direction and then multiplies the gains because you're visiting the same price level over and over again i'm using the franc and we're using the every tick basis and again we're using the five minute time frame with a 20 minute spread the difference with the the inputs here are is that the normal ones are there the 10 pips transaction distance and the number of lots i'm going to be trading 0.4 lots because they that this is a reduced lot exposure method here we've got a drop down menu that's allows you to say buy only sell only or don't trade at all so i'm going to set it for buy only and we say okay so let's start the visual mode testing and there we go it's starting off and uh, it has opened a buy transaction you see there's no tr sell transaction in this case it has opened a buy transaction i'll just clean the the, the page up a little bit uh, and we'll go a little bit smaller and then I'll accelerate it a little bit more so as it travels the transaction uh, distance it's either going to cash in that buy and open a new buy to the top or it's going to go down and open a new buy down here and then just continue trading until it either cashes in or opens a new buy lower down so let's just see how this one goes um we'll just accelerate it at times okay there it's gone down the the, the distance it's opened a new buy over there and let's just flip it again all right so in this case it's it's cashed in those two buys that it's opened it's got a, a new buy over here and it's then gone down again and opened a buy over there so that's the way it trades it it uh, just cashes in continuously and comes down and opens new buys and so on so let's just let it run a bit more okay there we go so now it's going in the buy direction that's the direction we want it to go and let's see how it goes so it's, it's had a very good run at the moment i'm going to just stop it right now to uh, assess where we are with all of this there's a big big spiky type of move okay so let's have a look we actually have a balance on the account of three uh, five thousand six hundred the equity is five thousand five hundred. so we we were really nicely prof profitable at the moment um we do require margin there's the margin requirement that we have and at the moment we have three open buy lots and obviously no sell lots uh going at the moment okay there we are that's a little bit more cl uh, clearer and uh, let's just keep continue the process what i can do is move that down there somewhere okay there we are so so, so you can see this huge up and down trends that are, are happening here uh, all the time uh, a lot of inconsistency but that's that's where we make our, our money because the price visits the same price level over and over again and you can see how nicely the account balance is growing and the equity balance is growing uh, very nicely so let's just continue 
watching this one this one's going quite fast um, uh, you can see uh, again you can see the up and down trends as they occur uh, but they aren't a pro here's a nice downtrend that's quite good because we ca those are likely to be cashed in again and this is what we want we want uh, the price to go up and down up and uh, down and cash in hundreds of times so that we can get the multiplier working all the time so here we go another down a uh, downtrend uh, that's happened but all the time the multiplier is working and cashing in cashing in numerous trades on an ongoing basis so yeah there it keep, keeps on going so just a reminder this is only trading the buy direction and uh, there's a like a sell trend that happened there uh, and uh, it's still open buy transaction down this and then cash them in look at the multiplication process happening here it's just fantastic how many times the uh, how many times the price visits the same price level and you can watch the margin the margin requ requirements increase and decrease from time to time the equity is uh, and very really nice now it's uh, almost nine thousand dollars so it's doing pretty well and the and there was a, a spike look at that there was like an announcement whipsaw uh, it it took the uh, and uh, it took that whipsaw open transactions and went and uh, and now those transactions are being closed systematically through the normal price action and that has actually created quite a nice gain for us that rapid up and down movement of that whipsaw so uh, let's just continue with that okay so that's the end of that one let's go and have a look at the actual results uh, let's have a look at the graph now this graph is a lot a much better graph because the results stick to the blue line a lot more it's only in some of the down um, drawdown phases that it separates like that separates and there was a big one separated but then it goes back and it joins the the blue line quite nicely and and there's the actual cash in so the results here where we started with five thousand we've basically doubled our account over that six week period quite a nice result that this gives you a, another perspective of how this particular system can be used trading one way only if you look at the actual account the here's the account you can see the how it just cashes in positive deals all the time and right at the end you'll see there's a few negative deals because of those buys there were some buys up here there's an open buy there's an open buy there's an open buy and i think there's an open buy so there's a lot of open buys that that were cashed in at the end just to balance the books to a, 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 a good figure so it doesn't matter if you've got these open uh, trades because the multiplier effect basically cashes in so often on the same level that it sort of pays for these type of transactions okay so that's the other ea that we have i call it the multiplier and you can see that it works pretty well uh, 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 these information blocks are pretty good because you can watch the progress and you can watch what's happening with your EA on a continuous basis. Okay, so what can we learn about this particular EA? Firstly, again, you can make profits using this technique. Uh, the trend itself wasn't a long one. I think it was in the region of about 300 pips. Uh, so uh, we squeezed out quite a lot of money out of that 300 pip one the margin was reduced because there are very few open trades if uh, the direction is maintained uh, but you can lose a lot of money if you get the direction wrong there's no mistaking that you can lose a lot of money uh, there are things you can do to avoid that kind of thing but if, looking at the raw ea as we've just seen it if it's suddenly ducked south and kept on going south you would uh, uh, run into big losses and uh, again, the principle of you need to risk something to get some uh, good profits. You cannot make profits 
in a hedged environment. Okay, now just to remind you, we we do have a an EA called the Grid Trend Multiplier, and it contains all the elements that you've just seen uh, uh, on these uh, EAs, the last two EAs. So in other words, you can uh, enable buy transactions, you can enable sell transactions, you can uh, disable buys, you can disable sell. So you can use that in combination and create the same kind of tra training activity I've just shown you. This EA also contains a lot more setting options which we'll discuss uh, in the next video and the next video is going to be all about risk management. How do you manage risk so that uh, if you have chosen the wrong direction for your particular EA, how do you manage that and, uh, and not occur damaging results. So again, the, the next uh, video will be risk management and we're going to have a look at risk management when trading the fixed transaction or the grit techniques. Now I hope you found this uh, video interesting and that has given you uh, some food for thought and also has confirmed the fact that zero risk is equal to zero profit. You have to expose yourself to risk to make profit. Very often we get people saying, oh, we want a technique with no drawdown and no risk. Now, quite honestly, the only technique uh, that I can give you that has that is don't trade at all because then you have no risk and you have no drawdown. Forex trading is about risk and you have to risk to make reward. And the whole skill of Forex trading is managing the risk reward ratio. If you can manage that, you, you can become a long term Forex trader. That's all there is to it. EAs that you've seen today might give you a better understanding about risk management and margin management. Margin management again becomes more and more important as the uh, various regions in the world reduce their leverage allowances. So from me Alex Deploy, cheerio. Thanks for watching this video. If you've liked it please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet subscribe and click the bell. But most importantly share this video. You can do this in many ways. Message your friends, send them emails or share it on social media, on Facebook, on Twitter and those kind of places. So from me Alex Deploy, cheerio.